And in the original Igbo spirituality, God is a woman. We changed God to a man. Um, even though we uh, refer to Chukwu as a he, that's a more recent thing. The, orig the original Igbo spirituality, Chukwu is a woman. The Igbo people are the original people in the world. That is what, and it is not a flippant statement. You would see elements, fundamental element, elements of Igbo spirituality in all ancient cultures in the world. I'll give you an example. Anubis, the god of death in Egypt, one of the oldest gods of Egypt, is Anubi Isinkita in Igbo spirituality. That is Anubi, the dog-headed deity. What does it signify? It is death. Because Anubi Sinkita emerged from Abasi, the bag of hatred. So the world has gone through so many ages. The patriarchy is more or less a recent thing. In the age, throughout the ages of the world, God, in the very original sense, was deemed a woman. God is a force. God is pure spirit, right? It is genderless in the true sense of the word. However, as we live on the earth plane, the earth plane is a duality. We must assign it a gender. And in the original Igbo spirituality, God is a woman. It was at the advent of the age of the um, age of Ikenga, Agalinabo, that we changed God to a man. But the key spirit at the apex of the creation, the Trinity, is a woman. Nago Udiobala. Obala. Anwang, the deathless light. And Usobala, the sun woman. That's a trinity, all women. God's daughter, Demili, that's a woman. And even now we've moved into the patriarchy where we refer to God as a he. Original Igbo Debias that are worth their salt will tell you that that is a contradiction in terms because chi, by definition, is a creative force. That is a female energy. And that is why Igbo say, Inwe chi, you're lucky. But Inwe oke chi, male chi, you're, you know, you're unlucky. So therefore, if chi is a female energy, the total aggregation of the female energy cannot be a man. So don't get so attached to those labels. When someone says God is a woman or God is a man, you start shouting, no. <laughs> Let's understand it for what it is. It is pure spirit. But for the purposes of us dwelling in this world, it's a world of duality. Therefore, we need to understand it.